This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at this interesting research paper, Detect GPT. Detect GPT is a method for detecting AI generated text from human written text. So the key idea over here is that if you have a candidate passage or text, okay, which was generated from an AI model, assuming GPT-3, okay, you want to detect if this text was from GPT-3 or from any other or it is human written text okay so in this case it is uh, whether it is from gpt3 okay so what is done is that you take this text as input you give it to gpt3 you get a probability okay for this text you also use a model like t5 okay to generate some minor perturbations of this particular text uh, those are these texts over here x1 x2 xn you also pass them to GPT-3 and get their probabilities. Then what you do is that you compare the log ratio of, right, the log probability of P of X under P of X1, which is the perturbed samples. So you sum it up. Basically, you are, you are taking the average of this log probability of P of original document divided by P of perturbed document. You take the average of this. If this average log ratio is high, then the sample is likely to be generated from an AI model, in this case, GPT-3 from an LLM, okay? So that is the idea over here. Why uh, this happens is that uh, based on their observations, what they have seen is that the machine generated passages, okay, they lie in the negative curvature of log P of X, whereby, where nearby samples have lower model log probability on average. This is what they have observed. Okay. That means the fake documents, right? Uh, basically, if it is an AI generated uh, document, then the probability of that document, the probability of other documents, which small changes have been done on that document also lies in this lower probability region. Whereas if it is human uh, generated documents, they are in the higher probability region. Okay. Uh, where you have actually perturbed the samples, they are in the higher probability region. That's the key idea over here. Okay. Now let's go to a demo. They have a, a site where they have a demo on this, right? But they have used GPT-2 model over here, not GPT-3. So here, let me generate a prompt over here. Explain machine learning in a simple manner. Okay. This is the prompt. Now based on this prompt, a sample will be generated from GPT-2. Okay, this is a sample which has been generated. Okay, uh, the goal of this course covers the essentials of how it is. Okay, some text has been generated. Okay, now let's do a detect. What it, it is doing now is that it is generating these perturbations. Okay, it is basically generating these perturbations, then computing this score, then uh, computing the probabilities by passing it to GPT-2 over here right and then they'll do this comparison and then they'll give a result we have to wait for it okay let's wait for the results yeah so here it says that this text is likely from gpt2 okay their results are computing using 220 perturbations of this text okay and they say original log probability minus average perturbed log probability is this Standard deviation of the perturbed log probability is this. Z score is this because the Z score is above one. They are saying that this text is from GPT-2. Okay. And these are the perturbed texts. Okay. Where there are minor variations, which has been done on the original text. And they have used T5 for this generating this kind of text. Okay. So now let's try some human text over here to see whether what kind of results come. Okay. Oh, let me take a book chapter or let me take this paper itself. Let me take the abstract of this paper and put it over there. Okay. Okay. Let's say detect. So it is generating and scoring the perturbations.
while it is generating uh, the results over here one disadvantage of this particular method is that you need to have access to the probabilities from the model okay from the large language model and if you want to find out whether this is gpt2 gpt3 gp uh, like uh, say some other models like whether it is from gpt neo x then you need to repeat this with each of these models and each of these models have to provide the probabilities okay if you can't get access to the probabilities from the model then this method is not going to work okay and you can also do adversarial text uh, where you can uh, change the text ai text by doing some edits uh, and you can still supply it to this particular model and it can fail what they have say over here somewhere is that it works but it can also fail okay so let's see if there is any conclusion over here there should be some as thing okay go to the conclusion okay we study uh, so it is zero shot machine generated text detection problem okay because you are not doing any classify you are not training on anything right limitations is that uh, white boss uh, yeah you need log probabilities from the model otherwise it's not going to work okay is more computive uh, intensive than other methods because you need those set of perturbations okay and you need to do for this candidates okay yeah so let's see what happens over here it says that very unlikely from gpt2 okay but uh, in this case it has said that yes because this was from this paper now let's try another uh, this thing this is also from a book try this paragraph from a preface of an old book right this is pattern recognition and machine learning by christopher bishop let's put this over here and let's try out this and it will take some time to generate the perturbations and score the text let's wait and see it is still yeah it is done could be from gpt2 but it is probably not okay this is not at all from gpt2 yeah so the reliability of these uh, yeah approaches are still it is uh, question mark because yeah they are not fully reliable uh, as of yet okay but this seems an interesting approach but it can also be easily broken uh, okay so if you like this video on detect gpt please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be putting the link of this paper and the demo in the description of the video please check it out see you in another video